So the guy in the car, he seemed like he was sleeping because he had his head resting on the side window. And the only things that showed that something had happened was the pale face, the broken glass and a small black mark on his head. You know, it's hard to tell what kind of car this is, but the engine says BMW right there. When the husband died, she probably stayed here. And this was probably her room. Look at all the slippers in here. This woman spent so much on clothes. We just heard knocking. That's crazy. Yeah, like on in that room with the wall. Nestled in the Italian countryside stands a grand mansion with a heritage spanning three to four generations. This family, once stewards of the sprawling farmland surrounding the residence, face a tragic twist when their son and daughter was left scarred by the 1981 assassination of his father by the infamous monster of Florence, a notorious serial killer. To honor the memory of her late husband, the mother kept the father's room intact. Her own passing on January 16, 1983 at an old age led the son to make her room into a shrine. Yet, by 1992, this family, comprising just the couple and their children, vanished without a trace, leaving behind all their possessions. Further investigations into their sudden disappearance revealed the family's close affiliations with the mafia. Whispers abound that their remains might be buried on the estate grounds, while locals say the son and daughter ran away to live a new life. Today, the mansion looms desolate, its silence echoing tales of hauntings, and the memories of a large family now lay scattered in every room. So we just made it to the entrance of the abandoned mansion. My friends are already inside, so you might be hearing them. But this is the main door, I believe, because it's facing straight to the stairway here. Yeah, look at this hall. I love the tall ceilings here. And look at that. What a design. Already you can tell that whoever used to live here was quite wealthy and here's the stairway too you can see that it's made of marble that's amazing you gotta love the red carpet going up anyway I say we check out one of these rooms maybe this one right here on the right I guess this was the living room. You got some leather seats right here. They look really cozy and comfy. Actually, no. Now that you look at it closely, this was like more of the kitchen. It's kind of like a hybrid. It's a mix between a living room and a kitchen. You have the oven and stove right over here. Look at that giant pot. Is there any soup inside? No, it's completely empty. And right here is a giant fireplace. Wow, the jackets are still hung up. Okay, let's check the fridge. It's empty, but smells. Oh, 
gosh. The windows are quite nice, but it's so strange how there's bars right in front of it. I guess it's to prevent robbery. We have some black and white photos. This must have been a very famous monument. Actually, I think this is a picture of Venice. Could be wrong, but it definitely looks like one of the famous architectures there. So maybe they went there for vacation. Oh my gosh. Look at the dome shaped ceiling. I think it was more of like the dining room. But yet again, they mix it up. It's like a living room and a dining room combined. You got the TV behind over there. And here's a calendar. Maybe this kind of confirmed the date of when this place was abandoned. Hmm, I don't see the year so far. It was from 1993. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. That was around the time when the wife passed away. But yeah, this room is very old school. We have more pictures on the wall. You can hardly see it. It looks like someone's being blessed by a priest. Oh, wow. Got some shotgun shells right here. And a picture of some guy with his daughter. So I just used my Google Translator and it's talking about, looks like it's some sort of bill for like dairy products. I mean, the guy was a farmer, but I guess that was his main source of income in the farm. Oh, yeah. There's a lot in here. Bunch of photos that are colored. Those are probably all modern, taken very recently during its last years of being at home. It's so dusty. Check it out. Looks like the brand is called Century. I've never even heard of it. used to be like a picture frame up there. Actually, no. That is a painting right there. But it's so decayed, you can hardly see it. Oh, you have electric ones nowadays? Those are clippers? Yeah, look. What kind of clippers? What would they that be used for? For hair. Either horses or maybe even I deers. think it's for horses, for sure. Probably horses. These are aggressive. Though. Yeah, they That's seem too much for like a human. That's so cool, though. And it looks like there's another, another room towards the right. Heck, this room is like filled with shoes. It's like this is a mini kitchen, probably for the servants. Wow, yeah, this looks like it could have been a tool shed. There's so many farm equipment here. Oh, okay. This was, I guess, a wine cellar as well. I'm starting to see all the bottles. <sighs> nice. There's all the booze. But I'm sure there was a dedicated room for the alcohol. Always got to have one in your home here in Europe. Oh my gosh. The ceiling says home. The ceiling's just filled with cobwebs. Not sure what all the nails are for, but it's probably was to like hang clothes up. Okay. Looks like this leads further down. Oh my god, there's so many flies. Oh, it's like a nest over here. Get away. <laughs> Let's go up here. So 
they didn't have a wine cellar. They had a wine attic. Yeah, I can see that some of these are unopened. But I guess this is attached to the barn. Look at that, we have like uh, old sketches drawn on the walls. It's probably the kids living here. Yeah, that's about it. Just a small attic. So we head back downstairs. We're gonna go to the other side now. Okay, here's the main living room for sure. Love the antique furniture. Other than that, there's not so much. Look, this must be a recent photo. Looks like a wedding. I guess their kids got married. Either the son or the daughter. That's such a precious photo to just leave behind. It's quite sad. Okay, it looks like they had a bedroom down here. Wow. Look at that ceiling. Imagine sleeping and getting a look at this all night. Or just waking up to it. That is a gorgeous, that's such an amazing piece of art. This is probably the master bedroom where the parents would sleep. It looks like this is a rat's nest or a mouse nest now. I used to hold some wine cups. But this is truly amazing. I love this room. And this is just at the beginning of the video. I bet these are just filled with clothes too. Yep, I was right. The shirts all hanged up. Crazy. This place has been abandoned for so long and it's in pristine condition. If this was in America, it would be ravaged and ransacked. Let's just take a look at the ceiling one more time and appreciate its beauty. It's a nice wardrobe. I love the giant mirror. Looks like they had a fur blanket. They probably made this themselves, considering that they were farmers. All right, this wraps around somewhere. I'm guessing this was lead maybe to the bathroom. And I'm correct. Oh yeah, we're back over here. This is underneath the stairway, Harry Potter's room. That's all I think about when I see these rooms underneath the stairways. And here's a shared bathroom. Wow, this is a beautiful bathroom. Just marble all around. And look, all the makeup are still here. This is the last room here. Wow, this is massive. What room could this be? We've seen the bedroom, living room, kitchen. What else could be down here on the ground floor? Hmm, looks like another kitchen. With a dining table. Gosh, but you can tell the ceiling here was absolutely incredible. Probably the best ceiling on this floor. Gosh, it just sucks that it's so decayed you can hardly see what it could have been. I guess this was like a giant wardrobe at one point. Here's the fireplace. Okay, we just made it. I really love the window right there and how overgrown it is. Anyway, take a look at this photo framed on the wall over here. This might have been the owner of the place that used to live here. So this is the second floor. 
Looks like we got one, two, three, four bedrooms. And some of them look attached. Well, I guess we'll go on the left side first. Wow, I was not expecting this. The bedroom looks pretty nice for such an old place. Looks like a good time capsule and a really cool room for photos. This kind of looks like a little shrine area where you would pray. You even have like a painting of a priest or the Pope. I love the frame on the bed. So far when I've been exploring in Europe, the bed looks so pristine, but I like how this one's just rotting away with holes on it. it. Gives it a more abandoned feeling and decay. And take a look at the wardrobe right here. Love the mirror doors. Mm, there's not much inside them. But there's holes on it. Probably from termites. That woman looks pretty posh. Could have been the wife when she was young. Here are some more photos. That's probably the owner. That's probably the owner when he was a young man. Looks like he could have been in his twenties here. Take a look at that. We even have some really old newspaper. The images looks like something from Fallout. And I really like this decoration right here. I like how it's carved right into the plate. And right on top of the bed, looks like another religious photo. Anyway, it looks like there's a room right here. Okay, so it attaches to another room. This could have been a bedroom as well. You can see all the pillows and sheets on the floor. Uh, there was probably an animal sleeping here. Looks like it's a nest. Hey, look, that's a wig. It's all braided. Looks like we have another picture frame up here. The guy looks Native American, but look at the outfit. Or maybe that's a woman. I think this is a woman, but it kind of looks like a man. But the person's wearing earrings and the, and the thing he's wearing looks like a dress. Love the old school luggage look. Looks like we'll be able to see a pretty decent view. So I just found some letters. They're probably all in Italian. So I can't really translate it for you guys. But if you happen to know, just pause the screen. And if you want, you can leave a comment of the translation. Anyway, the bedrooms kind of loop around in a circle. So we'll go through here. Okay, there's a few things. Oh, what is that? Do you guys happen to know what this could have been used for? Must have been meant for something. Oh look, there's a jacket still hanged. And some boots. And stuff for the horses. Hey, here's a picture of a young boy. This probably was their son. Nevertheless, this is another really simple room that's good for a photo. Bro, I just heard knocking. That's crazy. Yeah, like on in that room yeah. with the wall. Paranormal. Paranormal YouTube videos. Yeah. And usually like during the day. Like Dude, I didn't really think much about them. I'm just like, wait, yeah, what is it making that knocking sound? I think that's when it really happens. Wait, I wanna... I mean, we're just gonna keep exploring. <laughs> yeah, guys, I just came here to, to meet up with Radic while he's getting B-roll shots. But the knock came through here. I wonder if it can happen again. But I might have recorded the sound. It's kind of strange because the wall kind of looks cracking. Almost as if there's an entrance behind this wall. 
kind of strange. Anyway, I hear it again. I hear something right here. All right, let's just continue on with the tour. This is a nice cozy room. It's quite smaller than the rest. Got a single size bed. There's not really much inside here except for papers. What's this? Looks like some sort of certificate. the windows have been open. I'm surprised with all the rain and storms. This place is not in bad shape whatsoever. If anything, you can probably renovate this place pretty well. Mm, it's completely empty. All right, we're now making our way to the other rooms on this side. Which one should we do? Hmm. I think we'll do the one way back here. Hey, is this a, a painting? Kind of looks like it. It was probably hung on this wall right here. Oh, and speaking of which, I haven't really shown you guys the hallway here, but the ceiling looks pretty cool. I like the red and blue color to it. Wow, it's like a little hall room is a total wreck. Kind of looks like the attic. Yeah, they probably use this as some sort of storage room. And there's a door over there. Maybe we'll take a look down there after we explore the bedrooms. Because that looks like it leads to another part of the building. Yeah, you had the bathroom here in the hallway too. You didn't really have much privacy. Kind of thinking whoever stayed in this part was more of like a maid or a servant. Oh yeah, <laughs> I passed by this, but here are the jackets hanged. They look pretty clean, not gonna lie. Sure. This time it's like the wife and the husband together. Wow, okay. <laughs> That's like a little boy's room. You got the Spider-Man outfit here. Perfect choice. I think Spider-Man was my favorite hero as a kid as well. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite superhero was growing up. I really like this baby carriage. It matches the wallpaper really well. What's well, funny, the top thing kind of looks like you would see on a lamp. It's beautiful nonetheless. All right, we've now made it to the last bedroom. Oh, I think we saved the best for last, guys. Oh, hey, <laughs> my bad. This is probably the best time capsule room inside the mansion. We have a little, little cabinet here. Yet again, you would usually see some sort of religious artifact or decoration on this side of the home. The bed doesn't look as grand as the opposite room, but it's still quite nice. The blanket is in pretty good condition too. Wow, 
Wow, but these, this wardrobe is filled with clothes. I'm guessing this was like the master bedroom for the husband and wife. I love how everything is just still left here in this room, completely frozen in time. Look at this. That says diploma on it. We have a big, big frame photo of the wife. Look at that. The doll is so creepy. And we have some really old perfume left here. This is gonna make for a nice picture. Look at this. This cradle looks so comfy. Definitely better than the yellow one we saw in the other room. I think this was more for taking the baby outside, you know what I mean? Looks very durable and high quality. Whoa, look at that. It's like an old clock. Like a portable pocket one you can just carry around. It's pretty neat. I like how these jackets are just hanged up here. They have the old school hangers too. I know a lot of people in America are not used to seeing something like that. But that's a beautiful painting. It definitely looks like the, the area we're in. We're surrounded by mountains right now. You can see a lot of the overgrowth on the window. So, did you hear knocking? Because when Radic and I were up here, we heard knocking, like yeah. on the wall. You didn't hear it? I was just winding you up. Yeah, no, I'm just coming to approach you for the same thing. I was was that you, bro? I was downstairs and it sounded like someone kept like knocking. So I kept shouting to Steve, Steve, but I was the only one down there. Uh -huh. So when I've come up here and I asked the same question, and you said over the far end there, someone was knocking. But I don't even know where Radic is. Do you know where he is? I think he went downstairs now. Be careful though, the sections there, when you're downstairs, you can see like big poles holding the ceiling up. Over here? So for the Dude, I've already explored all the bedrooms here. Yeah, I see, you're okay. Yeah, everything was pretty good. It's just, you can feel it. Yeah, the all the creaks. <laughs> all right, everyone, so I hope you guys have been enjoying the video so far. This place has been such an unexpected exploration. I mean, we were just driving down the road and just happened to see this. And I just love how decayed and abandoned this place is. And I like how things are still filled with little bits and pieces of the past. Anyway, we have one more room to go. I think this bedroom is gonna blow your mind. If you've enjoyed the video so far, definitely you know smash the like button, guys, and let me know down in the comments which one has been your favorite room so far. And let's see if we can compare with the last room. So I'm just walking back downstairs. We still have to find the car garage, but I just love the pillars right here. Look how they're just carved onto the wall. It's absolutely beautiful. I have a feeling the cars might be outside now. So I just noticed this window leads to another building that we haven't even explored yet. So let's take a look inside. It looks very hoarded. 
Jeez. Oh. Whoa. It's definitely a female's bedroom. I really like the picture of the beach on the wall. But yeah. I guess these clothes looks like they're from a female. Here's some pictures too. This could be her. She had a cute dog. The bed frame. It's a really nice radio. It's a cool setup. Wow. The clothes here definitely cost a lot. They look so luxurious. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Look at all the slippers in here. This woman spent so much on clothes. So crazy. Oh my gosh, and there's a bathroom there. I'm stepping on so many clothes right now. It's unreal how hoarded this part of the building is. Oh, this door has so many photos. It's probably the woman that used to live here in the room. I wonder where she is and why they would leave so many things behind. The pictures look like they were taken from the 90s. Wow, that's a creepy doll. Look at that, she's enjoying snow. Oh, this must have been her bedroom. I think she celebrated Halloween somewhere. Oh, I love that mask. And this room is so tall. It's probably 30 feet. It really is such a shame to see all these clothes just laying here. These could have been donated. So crazy. Let's keep walking down. I didn't expect this explorer to be so big. We even have a wedding photo of the same girl. She definitely lived in this home. Why would she just leave it like this? It's such a stunning place. Look at the dome and the pillars. This is crazier than the other building we just went into. Unreal, guys. And look, the furniture is still here. Well, there's a person she married to. I mean, like they said, everyone moved out of here to another country. What the heck? This is like a little office. They would probably, you know, do some paperwork for the farm they were working in. It was family run too. Wow, we have a bunch of pictures here. This gives us a grace glimpse of the past. They look like such a happy family. Full of memories. Going to the beach, going skiing, going to the lake. A lot of happy smiles. This must have been such an amazing home for them. It's such a tragic of what happened. How they lost it all. calendar says 2011 over there. That sounds about right. That's when the kids moved away. When both the parents passed. There's another hoarded room. There's some stairs leading up. I want to take another stairway though. I guess this will lead up to more bedrooms. Oh no. Looks like it goes to the attic. Kind of scared me. It's like a little wagon. Oh my gosh, the roof is literally caving in. There's not nothing here. So let's head back out down this alley. It's just a bathroom. Oh, look at all the cobwebs.
cobwebs. Yeah, there's a toilet around the corner. And there's a standing shower. All right, it's time to search for the cars. Radic and Dave are looking for it too. So far there's no sign of it. I feel like they have to be in some sort of garage. Uh, nothing in this one. Crazy how nature has been taking over this place. Can't believe this used to be a yard of theirs where they would just walk around freely. Jeez, it's literally a ruin. I really don't know where my friends went. Definitely didn't go here. All right, so we found the cars, guys. Shout out to Radic for finding them. Who found them first? You or Dave? Radic, okay. Looking at them so often, just come looking here, but just in that corner you're seeing through the garage. Really? I'm not lying to you. Feel you guys are joking. You guys are gonna prank me, aren't you? You're definitely gonna prank me. Let's see these cars. I mean, this does look like a garage. Oh, they're not joking. Wow, yeah. We found them. Now, how exactly did we get inside that room? That's the question. Is it through here? I don't think so. Entrance. I don't think this will be sturdy enough to see. Yeah. Looks like this can break. Oh gosh. I don't know if I can trust this. I'm not even gonna bother. Looks like they can break easily. See this right here? Yeah, they welded it. They totally welded it up. You can't even open it. And then whoever owned this car drove it straight into the wall, into the corner and smashed it up. You're right. Like, I didn't notice. That. Actually, um, Dave noticed that. So did Dave and, climb up here? Um, yeah, I climbed through here. Dave climbed through here. And then Dave said that this car right here is an old BMW. No Super way. Super rare. Wow. And then that one is a Fiat 500. Okay. Um, if you've ever watched Logan Paul and you remember... Right, here. Hold this. Oh, okay. I'm gonna climb here. Okay, go ahead, man. Alright, let's take a close-up. So this is an old Fiat, and this is a BMW, and Dave says it's quite rare, right Radic? Yeah, he said they're both very rare cars and super expensive. No way. How much do you think? Um, now, uh, in this condition, not a lot. 
Or actually, no, maybe I think it would go over like 30k. Wow. And you could easily, um, like re, uh, not refurbish, but you could probably bring them back. Like you could like buy repair them, them and completely remake them to look like new again. Yeah, yeah. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think these cars must be worth. And if you can repair it, do you think these are repairable? I mean, it looks like the tires are popped. The headlights in the back is not here, but I mean, those are easy parts to replace. Check out the inside. Wow, it's really good. Well, whoever owned the car moved it in front of the door so that no one could get in. They didn't just do that. They fucking, they, oh, sorry. They I, don't, I, don't, I don't think they drove it. They pushed it probably. But yeah, inside is pristine. All the parts are still left there. They haven't been stolen or scrapped out. Yeah, I guess this part of the building was like a little barn or a shed. Oh my God, he driven it to the wall. <laughs> yeah. There's no way you could push a car that hard because the bumpers are You're right, up. you're right. So he didn't push it. This was driven. They're probably in such a hurry that they... <laughs> it must have happened a long time ago. Because I bet, I'm pretty sure that you, couldn't you can't even drive this right now. Or even 10 years ago. That's nuts. But this room is quite strange too. With, with all like the graffiti on the walls and the eyes. It's kind of freaky, to be honest. Let's check if the engine is still around. Oh. Yeah, the engine's still there. You know, it's hard to tell what kind of car this is, but the engine says BMW right there. Take a look at this Fiat. It has a sunroof on it. One that you would have to pop open. The wall is kind of freaky. I'm pretty sure a graffiti artist came in here and did that. Now there's one more room, surprisingly. I know the story that worked out about Grandma. What happened to Grandma? He completely shut that away after his mother died in 1983. That's been for 39 years. No way. How do you know that? You found a piece of paper? I mean, 1983, and upstairs is like flowers next to the bed where her husband is. So I'm guessing when her husband died, she just stayed downstairs. Wow. So there's a room right over here that my friends told me about and basically nicknamed it Grandma's Room. Um, probably makes sense. When the husband died, she probably stayed here and this was probably her room on the first ground level. You know, easy access, doesn't have to walk up the stairs or downstairs. This was her bed. Looks nice and cozy. Look at all the decorations. It's definitely giving off Grandma vibes. We have some of her religious artifacts framed and everything's still here. Look at this little kitchen. You know, when you're old and it's your last years, you don't really need much anymore. And there's a calendar from 1983. That's around the same time that we heard the grandma, the grandmother passed away. Now look at these artifacts. This room is this room is great for a photo. This has been such an interesting explorer today. It's like we've been seeing different time periods of a family that used to once live here. Bro, this is one of the coolest rooms ever, man. Welcome to grandma's. Yeah. Grandma's home, or grandma's room. Have you been upstairs? No, I haven't yet. I'm gonna check it out right now. Okay, just be careful. Okay, I will. No way. All right, let's go up here. Oh my gosh, there's another bedroom. I'm guessing maybe this was the husband's room or just another bedroom for the grandmother. She would probably stay on both floors. And there's a picture of the husband. Oh no, we got a hole on the roof that needs to be patched up and the windows have been blown to pieces. Such a shame. This is a really gorgeous room. I love the color in here too. A nice pink coral color. It's a very nice peaceful vibe.
All right, everyone, so we just made it back to the car. I hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot. Definitely one of my favorite explorers on this trip so far with Dave and Radek. Definitely check them out too. Their links will be down below. What an incredible place, such a unique experience probably top three in my books and experiences while exploring because i've never explored anything like this where you're just going through the entire generation of the family and their experience living here growing up i mean you i have done that in the past but you know it's usually just the whole family together but this one you know you have the parents the daughter and the grandmother or the mother when she got old anyway let me know down in the comments what your favorite part of the video was let me know your favorite room and definitely check out my socials at steve ronan the links will be down in the description as well i've taken a lot of amazing photos and they're on my facebook and instagram page so definitely please give me a follow guys especially my instagram i'm trying to grow that a lot because i know a lot of you guys don't really follow me on there so anyway we have so much more to go i have like 20 plus more explorations to do on this trip in Italy and maybe another 10 to 15 more in entire Europe. All right, peace and thanks for watching.